How does a petunia get its color? There's a gene in the petunia that tells the cells how to produce a protein that makes the color. Well, almost 30 years ago now, scientists were studying that gene in the petunia, trying to figure out how it worked. And what they found in, when they gave the petunia an extra copy was that they indeed got more purple flowers. But sometimes they got flowers that were spotted, striped, or even all white and couldn't explain it initially. And so what they found was they had tapped into a natural process that cells in the petunia were using to turn down genes. And wherever there was white, the gene was turned down. This process is called RNAi. Researchers found that it was broadly present in both plants and animals, where they use it for controlling thousands of genes in their cells, as well as doing things like fighting viruses. Well, the potential for this is really high. With something so fundamental, researchers are looking at broad applications, including in the medical field, where the ability to turn down uh, a critical gene that causes cancer or it allows a virus to infect uh, would be a great way to benefit people's health. Well, equally, RNAi has the potential to do great things in agriculture in a way that allows farmers to protect their crops in an environmentally sustainable way. One example is canola flea beetle that probably does about $300 million worth of damage to the canola crop in North America alone every year. And one application we're trying to develop is to spray the RNAi onto the leaves. The pest consumes them, specifically turns down a gene that is important for it to feed on the crop, and we protect the crop. Another exciting example of RNAi application is in honeybee health. So approximately a third of our crops are pollinated by insects like bees. So protecting the bees protects the crops. But bees are under threat. One of the biggest threats there is the Varroa mite. It actually attacks the bee, feeds on it, transmits viruses, impacting the ability of that bee to live, and actually, ultimately, the viability of the hive itself. Using RNAi, we're working on ways to apply it so that the Varroa mite can be specifically controlled through its genetics. The specific sequence that's important um, is unique to the mite and not the bee. And by turning that down, we reduce its ability to infect and cause damage. Well, RNAi approaches are really useful for a variety of reasons, not only the specificity that we've talked about, but also because they're naturally present in the environment. Um, our diets contain RNA every day, both from animal and plant sources, and they readily break down. Microbes recycle this stuff really rapidly. Well, RNAi is one of the many ways the crop protection industry is innovating, providing tools for farmers that will allow them to be productive not only now, but into the future.